Hi guys, welcome back to Chambers Entertainment. So Married at First Sight UK has just finished the first episode and it was hilarious. It was better than expected because we sure do have characters. On first impressions, when everyone got together, Nikita, oh my god, how can anyone handle this girl? She don't shut up. <laughs> She is a lot, like, she's actually a lot. And the fact that she named about 15 things she got done and then was like, yeah, I've not really done much, though, just a few tweaks. <laughs> oh, I can't. She is, I already know she's going to bring entertainment to the series. Morag and Luke, I think, are adorable. Um, Just as in Sweet Souls, those two were the first that stood out to me. I thought they were really sweet. And and Rob, or Bob, whatever you want to call him. I think he's a big soft... He's a teddy bear, like, literally. So, first they partnered up. Nikita and Ant. What the hell? If I'm honest, I don't think... I think it'd be hard to find anyone for Nikita. But Ant? No way. Wrong move. Nikita is so shallow and superficial. I don't even know why she's on this show. She needs to be on, like, Love Island. <laughs> she is so, like, the first thing I said, what are you into? She's just naming looks, looks. She didn't mention any personality traits. You know, loyal, caring, all of these things. And is, he seems like a playboy. But I think a really sweet, strong woman would get him to act correctly but I just don't think Nikita is the one I feel like I feel like he's trying to see positive to um up the positive side to her like be positive optimistic about this marriage but you could tell like his family as well like nah when she came down the aisle the first thing she started doing is started swearing and Jesus Christ effing this effing <laughs> I was like, oh, you cannot do that the first time you meet someone's family at your wedding. You cannot do that, Han. I don't know. I have um, little hope for, for their marriage uh, just because I think I think Ant's trying to, you know, try his best. Props to him. But I feel like he will he will get fed up of how loud she is. He can tell his family aren't a fan. Nikita, she's not even into him, which shocked me. I thought she'd be into him, so I don't really know what her type is. I think she likes a bad boy type, but that's why she keeps getting her heart broken. Um, because she wants boys that like, I don't know, extremely playboy type. And I just, yeah, I was shocked that she was disappointed in him. <laughs> she was actually quite rude. She was like not eager and I feel like she might pretend for a bit she's into him but you can't really force those feelings eventually it will show so yeah um she is absolute mad but I don't think they've paired her up with the right person and then we have um Rob and Megan they are adorable as soon as I saw that they were matched I thought amazing they're both teddy bears they both really want to be loved, really want to give someone their love. Um, a bit, they're both a bit insecure, but he really makes Meg feel beautiful, special. His reaction, her coming down the aisle, like, if I didn't know, I would have thought they knew each other. Like, that was his woman he proposed to because he just seemed so happy and teary, like a real couple. Um, I'm I'm rooting for them. They're already my favourites. Meg seems absolutely lovely. Her brother needs to chill out a bit. I get, like, you're going to be protected. But at the end of the day, they want to show. And if he hurts, there's nothing you can do if he hurts your sister. Like, it's going to be out of your control when they move to where they live. Do you know what I mean? I mean, in the end, I like the fact that he did give him a chance. But he, yeah, he was a bit, like, over the top. Her family were less 
welcoming of him. Even though I think, on first impressions, he's a lovely guy. Bubbly, sweet. Like, I get good vibes from him, from Rob. Absolutely good vibes. And Meg, I think she's amazing. So I'm really excited to see what happens with these two. Mark my words, I feel like they will go the distance. And they're taking things slow, thanks to Meg. And I feel like that might help as well. So yeah, I think they're going to go the distance. Even though this is only the first episode, I'm really excited. Tomorrow night looks hilarious. Um, More Rag and Luke get partnered up, which I think is hilarious because I just said that they were my favourites, like as in the sweetest ones. And Luke is lovely, but he's insecure. And I feel like More Rag is disappointed in him. And that's going to make him even more think he's not good enough. And I'm going to be so sad if that happens. <laughs> Honestly. And the other guys, Daniel and Matt, I just feel like, who paired them together? It looks like there's like a 30-year 30, 30 age gap. Which could work if they were wanted that, but I don't know if they were expecting that. So anyway, we'll see what happens tomorrow. I'm excited. Guys, let me know your thoughts on tonight's episode down below and your predictions for these couples. Like, comment and subscribe for more content.